There are some things going on in business right now that make it very difficult to be successful, but let's talk about where you can improve and how to actually pivot or change your own mind on how to become more successful. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Neil Winteray with Matterhorn Business Development, joined as always by Abby Johnson. We are here to talk to you about problem solving in business, making changes and adjustments to what it is that you're doing to then further your success and help your clients even better. This topic comes up because we are in a time when business is changing pretty constantly. Supply chains come and go, things come and go. One day you can get this for your business, the next day you can't. And so you kind of are left wondering, what's the next day going to bring? What am I gonna be able to do? What might I have access to right now that I won't later? This stuff happens quite often in this day and age with supply chain issues and staff shortages and things of that nature. So I wanna kind of go over some some ideas that might help you as far as how do I find out what I can control or what I can't control and then put myself into control with it. And one thing that brought this up was Abby actually found an article from uh, somewhere. <laughs> it was on LinkedIn. It was somewhere on LinkedIn <laughs> about Ford Motor Company because we've all heard that these computer chips have created massive problems with cars to where some manufacturers can't even build the fully maxed out luxury cars because they don't have the chips to run special equipment in those cars. So now you get more of a plain Jane car because they are missing those chips. And Ford has decided, well, if this is gonna keep being a problem, how do we pivot? Well, they're actually looking into making their own chips because believe it or not, most things in your car are actually not made by that company. It's actually sourced from somewhere else. And so they're looking at how do we bring that in-house so that we can make our own chips and not be uh, reliant upon these other companies that are also supplying all of our competitors. CVS is doing something similar as well as Abby found on an article somewhere uh, that says that they're actually looking at closing 10% of their stores but changing it up and actually offering in-house healthcare services, kind of like like a like an urgent care type of a clinic. Yeah, or... it said primary care, which right now you know they obviously are CVS Pharmacy and they have a pharmacy, but you can also you know go get COVID tested or vaccinated at certain locations, I believe. So I think they're pivoting more in that direction because let's be honest, you know we've talked a lot about retail stores closing down on this channel and. Amazon and just online retail in general is kind of taking over some of these stores. I don't go to CVS or Walgreens or anything like that very often because I just order it on Amazon these days. And I think CVS is, I'm just kind of assuming I didn't, it didn't go into it in this article, but I think that's probably what they're seeing and they're seeing the dollar signs are really coming in maybe from the medical side of things. So another example I wanted to bring up is we have a friend with a product-based company who um, really has been affected by the supply chain issues in the past couple years and she needed special custom boxes for a partnership with a corporation mm. and they were stuck on a ship, not going to get here for a few weeks and this partner corporation needed the boxes now so she went and found a local printer and got them printed locally instead and you know i'm sure it probably cost her more money than buying them from china but she got it done and it was probably more important to provide the boxes for this partnership than save a few bucks and wait six weeks for them to arrive on the ship. So we are definitely in a time where you have to look at uh, the risk and reward of these decisions and possibly change some slight parts of your business model that you didn't want to change before. Yeah, in one of my businesses, I looked at with my current team of staff and the product that we actually do for our clients, I kind of got to thinking the other day, what could I do with the same team that I have, but provide a bigger service or a different type of service that I haven't thought of or looked into before? And it kind of hit me in the face like, oh my gosh, there's this other thing that I could be doing that nobody else is really doing because nobody's ever really looked at it, but I found a way to actually create on it and take my same team and offer a different type of service at a different cost structure and pricing, but has a different outcome and a different result. So one end of my business is helping businesses get 
people coming into their front door. Then I realized, well, there's actually some other services that we could provide after the, this person leaves the business and goes off that would actually increase the customer service, increase referrals, increase reviews with my same team, just doing it on a different type of a level. And so that's what I've actually come up with where without expanding, I'm actually able to provide more work and more income for my business and for my employees by just changing how I looked at what problem we solved and what other types of problems I could solve. And that's actually gonna work out very well for us because there are actually businesses out there that need what we provide on the back end, but not so much on the front end. So now it's actually giving me an opportunity to get new business I wouldn't have gotten before. And once they're happy with us, I can then sell them on my other services. And again, I don't have to hire anybody new. I just have to change up how we operate a little bit and boom, we have a new service that we can market and provide that nobody else is doing. And I didn't have to go out and hire new staff. I got to give my current employees more business and more jobs to do. And they're also very excited about that. So I think in general, we all come across barriers in our business, whether it's supply chain issues or business has dried up for whatever reason or whatever it may be. And I, instead of getting down on yourself and just like, well, there's nothing I can do. My stuff is on a ship in China or no one's buying my product and just kind of sitting in that, start putting your thinking cap on and seeing what you can do outside of the box. You know, here at Matterhorn, we had to pivot a little bit in the last few months. And I really had to look at, you know, are people gonna still want to buy consulting services from us without our father, Greg Winteregg, being there? And I had to survey clients and I had to do certain things. And fortunately, I have been able to continue on, but I had to start thinking about, you know, I am not him. What do I need to do differently? How do I need to pivot? it a little to position myself in this business now that it's me being the primary service provider. So I'm not gonna lie, that was a hard thing to do. <laughs> it was not an easy thing to confront. I and mean, there were days where I didn't want to confront it, but instead of getting down on myself or staying the day in bed or giving up, I just, you know, really talked it out, found solutions, tried different things until I found the right thing that was going to work for this new season of business. In short, there is always something that you can do to improve upon, to make something better, to get new clientele, have a new product or service that you can do. You're never completely out of the game unless you have given up on it. And that's the thing is that when I talk to somebody who is struggling and and I say, you know, you might want to look at doing this or you might be able to do that. And they always have a reason why it doesn't work. I know I can't help that person and I just don't even try because they gave up on themselves. Much like the comment section in some of our most recent videos. Those people have no business trying to improve or trying to do something different because they are convinced they will never be successful. As long as you look at an opportunity or an ability to change, you will be able to figure something out. It might not be easy, it might suck, but there are realities in business right now that are making it more difficult. And if you just keep working at it and get smart and creative and don't look at the barriers, you can come up with a solution for it. So I hope that this helps you. We'd love to hear your comments and thoughts down below. And if you need any help, please feel free to reach out to us or go to adventuretoprofit.com to find out our Adventure to Profit program that will help you become more successful and achieve your goals. We'll see you next time.